Morning, welcome back to uh, a cold and wet Charon here in the southwest of France. Um, yeah, I've started this video about five times and uh, not quite sure <laughs> how, how it's going to go. Um, so, yeah, cutting to the chase. Dave is not with us anymore. He was loaded into a van yesterday and uh, he's gone to live somewhere else, which is uh, which is pretty upsetting. Um, obviously uh, yeah tricky to explain so uh, it's the uh, 1st of November today and uh, my it's my son's birthday this week and um, he'll be 32 and uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while you may know this story but um, yeah when he was nine so over 20 years ago he was um, he was taken away from me he was taken to live in New Zealand I was living in the UK at the time and uh, yeah a place that he'd never visited a place that his mother had never visited but um, yeah she just um, went to court got some paperwork and put my son on a plane uh, and moved to the other side of the world and that destroyed me and uh, I never really recovered to be honest so for the last 20 years I've been trying to find some meaning in life he's my only son I've got no other children and uh, yeah it's been tricky to find meaning and uh, still not quite sure if I found it I thought maybe um, I'd find it in France who knows maybe I will um, so yeah I'm uh, I'm well practiced uh, in loss and uh, yeah I held my mother's hand as she passed away so yeah I'm quite well practiced with loss and it doesn't make it any easier um, so yeah I've just got to sort of um, dust myself down and uh, crack on with things um, this situation um, was you know I'd explained it over and over and over hadn't I the situation so I knew that at some point like everything is temporary uh, I knew the situation uh, was this situation was going to happen um, there are lots of politics lots of politics amongst the locals and when you sit down when you sit down and think about it a lot of the problems stem from uh, territory as I've always said all war is over territory and resources isn't it and um, yeah I'm not saying it was a war at all <laughs> war of words perhaps but um, yeah when you sit down and think about it Dave was kind of a link in a chain that kept this uh, bad blood that helped to keep this bad blood flowing and you kind of thought that well I kind of thought that if Dave wasn't in the picture then the situation amongst the locals you know may settle down but there is yeah there is some um, there is some bad blood and there is some bad blood coming from places that you don't actually expect but anyway uh, so yeah it's not really for me to comment uh, Dave wasn't my horse he wasn't on my property well he was part of, partly but he wasn't he wasn't recently after I'd closed him closed him out of my field so yeah I've I haven't really got any you know I've got I've got nothing to say is there's nothing for me to say he's not my horse and he's been rehomed uh, the only good thing I can take away take away from the whole situation is that I did my best to look after him where he's gone now is he gonna get the care and attention that I gave him maybe not I think um, I think he's probably seen as just a farm animal and he'll be treated like just a farm animal so uh, yeah uh, I have to try not to be too oversensitive although that's quite hard as an animal lover because I am quite a sensitive person so yeah feeling pretty down yesterday was not a good day uh, I did have a very long conversation actually with the uh, with the farmers family and uh, yeah lots of things were said uh, lots of things um, yeah there's nothing to say really I, mean, I want to share anyway um, it's just a matter of moving on um, and dealing dealing with life you know life's tough 
I, th I think about some of the things that I see going on in other people's lives. And, you know, they do say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, when I started this YouTube channel, I was uh, in a strange place in my life. You know, I was starting afresh in a foreign country. You know, I lived, I lived in the um, seemingly safe and secure UK uh, with my centrally heated home with nice carpets and plasterboard on the walls and a regular income. And, you know, I gave all that safety up um, for something more worthwhile. And it's not worthwhile, is it, if it comes easy? Do you know what I mean? So stuff has to be tricky sometimes just to toughen you up. There's a reason I haven't had my own animals because I don't feel I was in the right frame of mind to have them. You know, you have to build up some inner strength, don't you, and have some, and, and you need a good foundation. Um, so I wouldn't have chosen, as I said many times, I wouldn't have chosen to have a horse uh, as a pet, even if I was only like rented, rent a pet, you know. Um, you know, you know, I'm not up for a horse. But I'm in a situation now which upsets me that um, I have no reason to come to the field, and uh, yeah, that's pretty uh, that's pretty upsetting. So that's you know that's going to have to change, isn't it? I'm going to have to um, going to have to do something worthwhile with my property. And uh, so first things first, I've got to make it safe and secure and uh, I did come down I did come down yesterday afternoon after I'd been to the dentist um, all the horsey situation happened in the morning before my dentist appointment and I went off and drove my 75 mile round trip to the dentist which went well and uh, my credit card was still not accepted and I had to pay cash which I drew out on my credit card from a cash machine which was a good idea um, so yeah, yesterday afternoon I came out, it was not raining and the, it, the weather has just been unreal and uh, it looks set to be unreal for the, um, for the next few days at least uh, across most of Europe I think, I think we're in for a bit of a battering later uh, with a storm that's going to blow through. Um, so let's just have a little look at what I did yesterday. So I came down to uh, what would have been Dave's old paddock. Maybe we'll call it Dave's paddock. We'll give him that respect. And uh, I came down with the uh, brush cutter and uh, did a bit of uh, cutting back of the old bramble that was in this corner. And uh, yeah, I did find the old fence. There is an old fence laying there. So I need to uh, get on and uh, repair that. But yeah, the ground is just so wet right now. Um, yeah, absolutely flooded in places. So yeah, lots, lots to do and I need to make a start. So yeah, I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling quite sorry for myself. I just want to say thank you to everyone for your lovely comments. Um, yeah, amazing. I've got the most amazing subscribers and the mo most amazing viewers. Um, and yeah, there are some not so amazing people that watch my channel and uh, you know, the dregs of society. Uh, with you know cancer throwing, uh, flowing through their veins and um, yeah got to try and ignore the negativity that some people that some people just can't help themselves but spurt out and uh, publish um, and I've got to yeah I've got to get back um, get back on the board you know I've been washed off by a big wave and I need to get back on it and yeah, as I say, dust myself down, uh, and now I've got to find some meaning, and uh, it's going to be an interesting journey. Uh, right now, yeah, right now today, don't feel like, don't feel particularly enthusiastic about much, um, but that will change. Um, I think I probably need to have a reason to come out into the field. Um, yeah, not quite sure how that's going to pan out. Maybe I should get myself a little dog. I quite prefer a cat. I'm a bit of a cat man, really, rather than a dog man, but I have got all this land, haven't I? Anyway, yeah, just a big thank you to everyone for all your support. And um, onwards and upwards, uh, let's just sort of hold Dave in our hearts.
see you later.